Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. 
Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority. But you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, Exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. I should go. I should go. See you later.
Enemy sighted. Three more of these outposts left to clear out? This should be fun.
I've lost shields! That's number two. Let's hit the next base. Think we're good, Commander? Just one outpost left. I'm going to miss slaughtering Geth like this. These outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out.
Commander's Log, the Grissom System. As the last geth falls, we hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus Veil. The transmitter shuts down. The commander's log is archived. Area secured. There are a number of encrypted Geth data files in this terminal. Downloading data. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the Migrant Fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area.